Um, uh, <laughs> who, uh, who's married? Clap if you're married. Who's married? All right. Who's not married? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so why, why do they do it? Why the fuck did you guys hear the, how much more happiness there was? It was insane right there. That was... Look, and I support relationships. I'm not saying you should just fuck random people until you die. Like, I love... I'm in a happy relationship. We've been together for nine years. Yeah, and we're never getting married. We're not doing it. We both don't want to. But we've been together for so long that people just assume we're married. And that's good enough. Right? Like, honestly, like, especially if I don't correct them, then that's married. Like, if I said that she was your wife and you didn't correct me, you're fucking married. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's what that is. That's why I don't know why people actually get married if you can just take their word for it, you know? Like, to me, marriage is just like an associate's degree. Like, you don't need it. Just... <laughs> Just tell people you got it, they'll believe you. Right? <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna be like, let me check your community college credits right fucking now. <laughs> How do I know that? Because I had a fake associate's degree <laughs> on my job resume for years. What did I major in? Depends what the job was for. <laughs> Leave my options open, you know what I mean? Why limit yourself? <laughs> Some of you are like, that's true, that's true. I heard a few that's trues. Like I said, I'm in a happy relationship now. I've been thinking back to some previous relationships I was in, like, there was a girl I dated, uh, she was black. Well, I mean, she's still black. That's how... <laughs> she, <laughs> she was a person I dated. English is hard, whatever, and... She had a weird conversation with me, like two months into us dating. It made me think that she had some like different motives to dating me. Made me uncomfortable. She was like, Jeff, I'm happy to finally be with a white man. Black dudes, you can't trust them. They're just gonna cheat on you, they ain't shit. You know how uncomfortable you feel right now? Imagine how I felt. This is in real life for me. This is just a story for you motherfuckers. I felt uncomfortable as shit. I didn't know what to do. So I, I talked to a black friend of mine. His name's Josh. I was like, Josh, told him the whole story. He's like, Jeff, I'll tell you what you got to do, but you might not like it. I'm like, all right, let me have it. He's like, Jeff, for the culture, you got to cheat on that bitch. That's what... <laughs> I'm like, do I have to? He's like, it's bigger than you, Jeff. Stop being selfish. You have to cheat on her so that one day little black girls can hold hands with little white girls and together say, all men ain't shit. Can I get an amen? Can I get a... <laughs> He's like, this is some MLK stuff we're dealing with here, Jeff. If you're an ally, you'll cheat. You know what? If it's in your heart. <laughs>